Hello everyone. This is the vacuum tube Tesla coil design that I would like to talk about and go over. Um, this is actually a VARAC to control the 120 volt input going to a microwave transformer which puts out a 2000 volt on the secondary and it goes right into my two microwave capacitors that I have to get a really good booster charge going to the coil. Um, this is my Torado transformer that I actually just used the 120 volt primary and wrapped my own secondary to come up with 10 volts AC which powers the filament in my vacuum tube and this is actually an 805 T a trioid vacuum tube that I'm using here as a radio frequency oscillator and this is actually the feedback coil this is what switches it on and off once it picks up the magnetic field from the primary coil it induces a coil uh, voltage on that and turns it off the tube which shuts off the voltage and then it keeps repeating the cycle real fast and the frequency is probably about up to 246 K Hertz um, and this is my primary coil which is 50 turns this is 50 turns of 18 gauge wire and this is my long tube which goes all the way down to the bottom here um, of 32 gauge and I believe that was like 1100 turns I did on that and I just want to show you it and this is what it looks like my tube goes it's already warmed up it doesn't need to have time wait a few minutes it's already ready right when you start it up even when the tubes cold but let's go ahead and crank it up to around 36 volt input into the transformer and this is what I got already coming off the top here and you can see the fluorescent sticks all automatically just light up already and I'm not really even doing anything yet with it but you can see the arcs is really good on there this is just at a 36 volt input but let's go ahead and crank her up I'm gonna put her up to around 60 volts so you can see this it's really like fire on top of here you can see my stick lighting up you can see the arcs is really good off of this and a cool thing is you can also touch it you can feel the heat coming off of the top here but yet it feels like a little pinch when it hits your skin but I wouldn't hold it there too long because it could burn you burn a hole but it's pretty cool 60 volts I cranked it up in a little bit more but I'm actually don't want to do that because <laughs> the small coil on this 32 gauge is very small I don't know what will happen if I just blow up my coil here but that is the vacuum tube Tesla coil. That tube is awesome and makes an excellent radio frequency oscillator. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I will put the schematic in the beginning of the video to show you how I built it. It's very simple, very easy to build. All right, thanks for watching.